So believe it or not, it's less than a year they met, engaged, got married. I think I'm overstretching it. More like eight months <laughs> <laughs> of seeing, knowing, getting married, and they are on the show. I'm super excited to introduce to you, Ronnie and Faith. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Yeah, all are so beautiful. I was giggling before the show, before oh, when we were on the break, because, my God, yeah, all are in for a good treat. Faith, introduce yourself, please. Ah, uh, okay. Um, my name is uh, Faith Agneta Indara, currently holding a new name, Mrs. Boke Hiron. Yes. I'm a mother, I'm a, ha I'm, um, a wife, and also personally on the hustle La Marialta, a Shio Vista, apartments where I met him, or where, rather, where we, all these started. Yes. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Roni. Thank you. Boke Roni Awendo Hiron is my name. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a human resource professional and I'm also an artist. In the streets they call me Big Chris. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so, Rio, mm -hmm. that's where this magic started to happen. Yes, yes. Okay, w please take us through that. Uh, Were you looking? No, 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 no. Okay. Actually, I had uh, been single parenting for a while, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been a really tough journey. And I was at a point where I was just like focused on uh, its work, home, my son, and nothing more, and family basically. But at some point, I had. Uh, I was, okay, I won't lie. I've been praying. You're asking which mountain I prayed. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> to be honest, I was praying. I, I started uh, my birthday last last year was really a turning point because it is a situation where I really wanted to know when my son is transitioning to know what's, because he's three years old, turning okay. four. So when he's transitioning to know what's really going on in his life, I was seeking God and just asking him, where do I check? And I had given myself three months. If it's not making sense, then I just walk out. So he, he was a client for a year, more than a year, right? Yeah. yeah, he was just a client. I was not even looking at any we people, not even him. him. <laughs> yeah, I think I was just comfortable. I was okay. As much as I wanted to settle down, I, I had gotten tired of waiting, you know. Yeah, so the journey started this year. Uh, I think he's a better narrator okay, than me. Okay, please. <laughs> wow. So, um, I think uh, early last year, I was looking for uh, a place to settle. And apparently, along Mombasa Road, I found studios by the name Rio Vista. And that's where I settled. And I think I didn't get to meet Faith until a year later, where now I got to really know who Faith is because... We were just on a very professional background. And we had never met. It exactly. was purely on calls. Yeah, I used to ask her for my receipt. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think early this year, January, around 11th, that's when I was on leave. And it was my last day on leave. And that's when uh, Faith was leaving work. And I was just uh, having a good time at my place. Then... Mm. Cleaning your car? Uh, yeah, I was cleaning <laughs> my car. <laughs> yeah. So her car broke down. Okay. And she she had she passed by and said hi. And uh, I kind of felt like, wow. So this is like the first time she's. Did you know that she this is warm. the one that I've been talking to on phone? Not at all. Okay. I was not interested to marry or even date. Oh goodness. And. Uh, <laughs> So I offered her a ride home because mm -hmm. her car broke down. Okay. And it was a few blocks away. So I took her home. She introduced me to her son. And uh, I think from there we became friends. And going back home, she called me and told me she has uh, an emergency, which I think one of her doors had locked up. <laughs> and I had to come back and help. <laughs> Okay, let me paraphrase this. <laughs> let me paraphrase this. <laughs> okay, naturally, yes. naturally, you know, you, you need to say thank you. Because the gentleman had offered to drop me. Yes. And we, we don't talk. It was the first time. So at first, before even I told him about my door, because I think I was just a loner, and he gave me that warmth either way. Yes. So I was like, mm, I'm 
amefika home kweli because he didn't know the route back we yes. stay the same neighborhood but he didn't know the route i was so sure okay so i just uh, dropped a text hi did you get home safe thank you so much for for giving me a lift home he didn't respond i got concerned <laughs> <laughs> i i called him back and uh, he was like oh sorry i didn't uh, see your text yeah i'm home safe mm. and uh, yeah, I'm okay. After a few minutes, like, ah, me, I'm just a bit stressed out. He's like, why? My door is locked. Interestingly, my nanny had locked my door. It had an issue, but she didn't know. So I had left it open, but her, she thought, no, it should be locked. Yes. So when she closed, it literally locked. Jammed open. Yeah. So that's when I was like, ah, I just said as a, a by the way. Then I was like, why don't you ask for help? And I'm like, okay. Because, you know, I was so independent. Even I knew how to fix my own toilet and all that. It had mm. gotten to that extent. So him, he just asked me straight on, why don't you ask for help? Yeah, because like she called me and she was just complaining, complaining about all her problems. The and door. Yeah, so where do I come in? So, so when you said, why don't you ask for help, did you mean she asks you for help? Exactly. Damn, you're smooth. <laughs> <laughs> And did you ask for help? Uh, when I was still thinking about it, he just said, I'll be there in five. <gasps> he didn't what? give me the chance to answer. Yeah, or say just yes, me, no, no, nothing. Because I was like, who is this guy? Like, what does he think he is? <laughs> yeah. So in five, okay, and I'm like, I'm going to go to the Apparently, it was a small problem. <laughs> but <laughs> He struggled with it for over took an like hour. took like half an hour. He didn't know what he was doing, by the way. But uh, it... It worked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eventually. He, eventually it worked. <laughs> yeah, so we were just catching up while I was trying to fix the door. And when I wanted to leave now to go back home because I had cooked Nduma. Yes. And I left it on the gas. Mm -hmm. So I told her I need to rush back home and check on my Nduma. <laughs> and she told me, no, you know, you have to at least take water. Or something house brought up you know culturally yeah anyone who comes to your home at yes. least take water at, a yeah. at, a yeah. at least i was going to so sleep in the room ndoma <laughs> sizitaungua ziliungua <laughs> yeah <laughs> cuz yeah. we were there the entire actually after the he accepted eventually so i made some dinner literally food so we ate and we talked until how what time around 2 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Ronnie you have burnt a whole apartment down. The gas was like on really oh, no. low. <laughs> so I found my Nduma burnt, but I didn't regret. By the way, that's for I ended up picking it after the wedding. Oh, yeah? Okay, <laughs> let's get to when now we know. So we've talked till two. Uh -huh. And by this point, we already realize there's a bit of chemistry. Right? Mm. No? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, 2 a.m. It, it was very subconscious. Yeah, I think we were there, but we didn't know we were there. Because mm. okay. me, I was afraid. Of, actually, we were seated on the dining. It's not like we were on a couch mm. uh -uh. dining. He was seated there, I'm seated here. So it was so uncomfortable either way, but we enjoyed the talk. Uh -huh. It was just interesting. Mm. Yeah, so I think the chemistry came later. When he was leaving, mm -hmm. then he couldn't find his khaki. He's already outside, he doesn't have khaki. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole struggle. We started looking for key. We can't get it. So when I went to my son's room, is when I found he had slept with it in the hands. So at that point, I was like, mm, okay. This is a signal. Is a, but at the same time, I'm like, no, maybe I'm just overthinking. Mm. So I never thought of anything. So when he was leaving, is when he hugged me. Then he gave me a peck on my neck. That's when I felt, no, there is uh, something. something. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because I think... Look at his smile. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> Like a spider <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that is when you felt like maybe there's something maybe more here. Yeah, mm. and also it was it was a happy even if we never en uh, ended up dating. Yeah. Uh, for a very long time, I felt I was these women who would actually three quarter of my friends are men, but I'll just be cool, no emotional touch, nothing. Yeah. So most of my friends used to feel like I'm odd. Mm -hmm. And even uh, my ex at some point felt like I'm too serious, too independent. Mm -hmm. I never had that chemistry okay. uh, per se. I think maybe because of life, what life had to offer by then. Okay. Uh, so I had lost hope in the lo with love because I was like, even if I end up dating, I might not give 100% mm -hmm. emotional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 
him kissing me on the neck and my whole body was on fire. I was like, hey, oh, I am not okay, dead. Okay, I'm not dead. <laughs> so either way, I was like, even if we don't date, mm. at least this guy has shown me I'm that normal. I'm, I'm normal. Yeah. Yes, and I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So you left home, went to your endomas that were dead. Mm. <laughs> did you did you feel the same way she felt? Because she felt like there's something here. I have felt something. Did you feel the same? Yeah, at the same time, I was scared because um, I wasn't ready to date or go into something serious. Yes. But I found myself in that cocoon, but I was okay with it. Okay. And funny thing, the next day, I texted her mm -hmm. later on in the day, and I asked for another date, dinner date. Actually, it started, hi, good morning, hope you're well. I hope I get a chance to hang out with you. you and your son like it had an attachment not oh you my God. with you and your son i'm like what's wrong with this guy <laughs> like my like son doesn't yeah because evidently he really wanted to hang out with both of us but in my head i was like no no i should meet, be close to my son like that like that mm. yeah but that was his request I was like mm, why not then the same day he was like S we didn't talk uh, since morning we yeah. talked nine in the evening mm. he used to overwork so much oh god hope your boss is not washing <laughs> 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 he used to work so much mm. so around nine ten at night he texts me and he's like hi I, are you okay i didn't pick i didn't text back yes. so he called back and he was like are you okay i'm like yeah and you he's like i'm leaving job now i'm like oh okay but the entire day interestingly i was expecting i'm like this guy can't even text me oh he doesn't feel anything you know I was so frustrated but he was so busy so at the end of the day in the next like three days it was just the same we talk in the morning in the evening but that second day he ended up coming because i i told him you must be so tired and you have to go and cook he's like yeah i was like ah oh, i wish you could pass by he was like, I'll be there in 10. Actually, mm. yeah, it's in 10. Eh? Yeah. He used to just be, he never yeah. waited for me to say, he was like, mm, yeah, why not? I'll be I'll there be in there. 10. And immediately after work, I just went straight. And we'd talk again until, actually, as we dated at night, move at night. Yeah. Because we took our entire night to know each other. We'd talk the entire, literally. And the second day, we talked till around 3, 4. Three, yeah, then he yeah. refused to stay at my place. He was like, no. I have a home. I like that. I have a home. <laughs> I want to know because <clears throat> this is just a week of knowing each other. Yeah. This is just a week, one week. Yeah. But then something interesting happens after the next week. So stick around. We'll be coming back with this conversation after this break. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. What are you manifesting into the next month? That's tomorrow. What are you seeing? What are you speaking? What are you wishing for yourself? Uh, that's the giveaway question. And I have answers here. Hi, Mikali. September is my month of testimonies all around my life, both spiritual and physical. This is indeed my month of financial breakthrough. Help me say a big amen, Mikali. Amen. Rose from Tika. Your number ends at 173. I speak positive vibes to the month. As I wait to join Kole from Machakos, 579, the last three digits of your number. I'm Rachel from Rungai. My new plan is to shift to a new estate and meet new people. Okay, 542, uh, the last three digits of your number. Hi, Mwikali. I'm Cindy from Kikuyu. My plans for the next month are to start schooling in a new institution. And your number ends at 231. Good morning, Mikali. Thanks for the gift. I love it. <laughs> Already, as I as for me, I'm looking forward to joining college next month. I've been wanting this. I just want to see my dreams come true. Help me in prayers, Mikali Daisy from Lower Kabeta. Your number ends 089. That means I have five more gift hampers for you, courtesy of Hako Industries. Right now, let's just get back to Ronnie and Faith. They've been dating for one week now, talking every day. Mm -hmm. uh, we've gotten to a point where Mika had it 4 a.m. Yeah. But I must say, my have a home. Yeah, yeah. I will not be here till morning. Well, till it's already morning. morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. at this point, do you all know consciously that we are dating? Yeah. Because the third day, yeah. I, he came to my office and I had and to ask. And you asked me? Yes. Yeah. So she asked me, so what's this? Like, what, what are we doing? Yes. Then I told her, we're dating. He didn't, he never asked me out, by the way. No. Never. 
No. I mean, well, the, the universe was aligned. I mean, the door, <laughs> then the car broke down, then car keys. Uh -huh. I think somebody was doing a better job at, you know, <laughs> making sure this works out. Yeah, mm. at that point, though, I thought he was going too fast because the third day he was, he texted me, my love, and I'm like, oh, huh? dude. Okay, so, okay. Well. so I thought, you know, the way naturally we tend to think that we, men are just flirting because yes. you're single and all that so i had to be clear that's why when he came to my office one-on-one -on -one, i was yeah. like oh. she was very bold and direct yeah yeah i yeah. didn't want him to waste my time neither did i want to waste his time mm. okay yeah so you established that you're dating we are in week two now uh -huh. mm. why we are insisting on this week is <laughs> you will understand in a bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm. uh, so i think uh, week two was my birthday the weekend, weekend was was my birthday, so I I asked her out and I told her I'll be taking her to Naivasha. 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 Yeah, yeah. Ele Lake Elementaita. Yes. So she had no idea, and I think that it was a Saturday morning. I went to buy a ring, and the, the person who sold me the ring told me, "Bro, if it's not today, it's no other day." And I'm here thinking oh. he went to buy wine mm -hmm. or some refreshment for us. But yeah. who, it's week two. You wouldn't even think of engagement. Of course. You and like it's his birthday weekend. Yes. Yeah, we're just yeah. going to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So it, uh, we went to Naivasha. We had a nice time. There were also mm -hmm. uh, people hanging around. And I just managed to, managed to yeah, did my proposal along How did he treat at the lakeside. I thought we were taking a photo. He held my hand, mm -hmm. got some. I, I saw him removing something from the booth. Then I told him, uh, What's this? He told me, You know, we normally have gift tampers at work. So I'm giving these uh, one of those game wardens or something. The guys who yeah. yes. watch the over the place. Yes. Yeah. So he was like, I want to just give them. It's from my workplace. I feel like I should gift him. So I'm like, Ah, okay. So he went, gave the guy, then gave the guy th the phone. Then he's like, take photos of us. So we went yeah. to a cliff and for Elementator, taking, taking photos with the wine. So he put the glass down. I was like, oh, maybe it's time to put glasses down and take more better <laughs> photos. <laughs> <laughs> so I also put the glass down. Okay. And the next thing I'm like, okay, what's happening? He mm. takes the gift back. I'm like, but babe, you said it's a gift. Why are you taking the gift away from him? Then that's when it dawned on me. Wait, it's not a gift. Oh my God. It's a ring. So yeah. It was yeah. confusing though. And the first thing he said, William Mary was like, Do you know what you're getting yourself into? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. are, you sure? are, you are you sure? sure? <laughs> Do you know what you're getting yourself into? Mm. He was like, Yeah. So that's how it all happened. Yeah. Two weeks in, and you were sure you wanted to spend the rest of your life with her. For sure. My God. <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. So it is unbelievable. So now mm -hmm. we all have parents mm -hmm. and uh, relatives and friends. Mm -hmm. They probably have not even met him because, I mean, it's two weeks. Mm -hmm. They probably haven't even heard about him. Uh -huh. But now you are engaged Actually, it's to be married. very complicated because the people around took a lot of photos. You know, it's viral system. Like yes. by the time we're in Nairobi, yeah. the photos were on internet. Already. And someone, uh, somehow my ex had gotten the photos, screenshot them from Instagram and set sent them to my parents. Allah. So <laughs> me by the time I'm thinking of how to let them to know yes. they are calling me and they're like, What's happening? What's going on? You've been through so much. Are you sure? I'm like, What are you guys talking about? Because to start with, you he doesn't even, know them. You haven't even processed it. I've not. Yeah. I had headache actually for like two days. Because oh I was like, how is it even happening? Is, am I making the wrong decision? Yes. Am I? It was very hard. And also I had not met any of your friends or anyone in it your life. It is two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, yeah, two weeks. Mm. It was just as... And the, the worst part was, okay, well the best part. I get home and he tells me, by the way, we are meeting our p my parents for dinner on Thursday. I'm like, excuse me? Which <laughs> Thursday? This Thursday. And I'm like, wow. They were, yeah. they, they've scheduled it, they're expecting us. So it just had to go. Then on Sunday, we went to church. He, he was very strict. Week one, on Sunday, I joked and said, ah, oh, by the way, I'm going to church. Uh, will you join us? He was like, yeah. He was there by eight. Are you guys ready? I'm like, get in. He's like, no, we are going to church. 
So the second, uh, second Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. We approached the pastors. Actually, we approached the church before parents. Because after church service, he told mm. me we need to see the pastors. I'm like, have yeah. you even discussed in terms of like when we will get married? Ronnie, no. had you? It was just like they need to know. We need to start. Pre yeah, we are we doing this. We are in it. Either we are doing married. it or not. Yes. Yeah. And it was like we have to do the right way. Mm. Okay. Do so you know how excited the pastors were? <laughs> like Sita Mathi River, yes. when he approached one of the pastors, the rest of them just came, plus elders. They're like, the young people here who want to get married. I'm like, what's the big deal? The mamas are on my side, yeah. the guys are on him, and they're getting our numbers. We're like, that's weird. <laughs> like, it was just like, are you sure? Mm. Yeah, we are. Oh my God. Yeah. It was so amazing. So, parents, mm. Thursday. Mm hmm. So w you went to meet the, the folks who were Ronnie Kwanzaa before. Yes. Yeah. How was that? Ah, interestingly, I already knew the dad. Huh? How? He was my business mentor. Did you know? I no. did. Mm -hmm, you knew before? I did. Interesting. Yeah, he yeah. was my business. Because I ran a business called Indira Isap where we do supplies. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he was holding my hand all through mm. as a business mentor. Yeah. But funny enough, my dad didn't know we were dating. Mm -hmm. So that was quite another surprise. Yeah, because we, we didn't know how he'll take it. You know, it's one thing for someone to see you as someone he can nurture. But it's another thing for him to see you as a daughter-in-law. Yes. So I didn't know if I was his ideal daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but he was already mentoring you. That means he was already seeing you as a daughter, as a child. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I think yeah. it was just easy to be like, ah, come and record a thing in his ear for the Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, the world is such a beautiful little tiny space. Yeah. Sure. The reception was interesting. It was good. Mm. Uh, we were a bit tensed. The mom was not sure a bit because you know this his firstborn child. Yeah, and his favorite boy. So it was a bit hard, but at the end of the day, we ended up being friends. Okay. Yeah. 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 How did it go on your end? I mean, they were told by the internet, by your ex, that you are <laughs> engaged. <laughs> it was so you you never got the chance to actually just tell it them It was yourself. very hard. I remember even uh, at some point, I kept having conversation with them on phone. Mm. And at some point, uh, my dad told me, you know what? You just move in with the guy. He wants to marry. Just move. Do you don't have to bring him home. I'm like, yeah, wow. You, you, you were not serious? for that. You were like, we have to do it. Yeah. yeah. We, we and then going. they're like, because then they, they've seen me go through so much. So they're like, no, this one, wait, take it slowly. Because the other one went south and mm. it, took, it took you a long time to pick up. We don't want you to go through the same. And yeah. Yeah. So it was very hard for them. And my dad was like, it's okay. Let him even go stay with you. Like. He didn't have to do anything. Yeah. Mm. Any they were giving me for free <laughs> at some point. That's how I felt. But I guess we gave them a date and we told them. Yeah. Him, he, he was so stubborn in a good way. He was like, no, you just tell your parents this. Huh? We are coming on this date. Mm. And uh, it was like in two weeks time, we yeah. are coming. If they want to chase me and you out of their house, it's fine. But let them know we are coming. Rooney. Yeah. He told me that. And <laughs> then we, we started fasting. Which was not something that was uh, for three days. Yeah, we it did. was the hardest point because after three days, again, we, we had an argument, we had issues. Yeah. Then it just got bad. Then my parents uh, called and said, my mom called and said, you know what? Uh, come, you can bring him. I'm like, mom, are you sure? Yeah. But dad is not saying anything. Just come. So, yeah, we went, but it was a whole risk. But he was like, don't worry. Mm. Watch out to Fukuze. Why, why did you feel like it was a risk? Why you, were you scared? Did you still want to go ahead with it? Um, I'm this kind of person who's very aggressive with whatever I do. So, uh, it's either I do it or not. So, I felt like I'd rather try and fail mm -hmm. rather than not or wait. Not try at all. Yeah. So, how was it? How was your emotions? Um, How are they when you the, were... The first visit was quite tense because uh -huh. the parents were like, wow, this, this, this guy is really daring. And I think the acquaintance was okay. And um, they cooked for me, gave me hugs. Yeah, but that was after he stood outside. Yeah. My dad, Ali Wong, outside. yeah, my yeah. dad talked to him outside. He like interrogated him for almost an hour, an hour 
not getting in. My mom was like, "Si wageni waingie." Wageni ni moja. He came with his friend, oh. his yeah, very close friend. Okay. Yeah. 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 What was going on? Dadi alikuwa anasema nini? No, he was he just wanted to know where I come from, uh, what I do. Value system. Va- yeah. And apparently he, he didn't ask me what I am looking for, but he no. just wanted to know me as a person. Yeah. Yeah. So the first meeting clearly went well. Yeah. On both sides. Yeah. yeah. And now do we have a date? So Pastor Anajua was as you were to Anajua internet we to Anajua. So do we set a date now? Am I still just He came up with a date on the first visit when we went to visit Actually when we were traveling he, back that's when we set up the date. No babe, remember hmm. when we went to see your parents? Oh yeah, yeah. The parents, we had the date earlier. Yeah, the dad asked, "Do you have a tentative date? Uh, I, what are your plans, Rony?" Hmm. And he was like, "Fifth, Fifth of June. June." And the parents wow. are like, "Okay, we'll do it." Like they took him so seriously. Then later, I came to learn before I met him, uh, before we started dating, he's been introducing himself even in meetings, saying, "Hi, I'm Rony. Uh, very soon, I'll have a beautiful wife." But he was not dating. So it's something he's been saying so the parents took it so seriously. That's why when you say June 5th everyone was like, "Okay, we'll do." But me at that point I'm like, "Are you serious? Are you crazy? It's <laughs> it's it's just a week." What? Yeah. Did it did it happen that way? Yeah, yeah. over time, over time it's 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 done. I won't lie, like initially I was telling him, I won't lie for me it was love. Because you know I'm a mother yes. and I've gone through so much. So at first it was friendship. Okay. It was just poor friendship. Yeah. I was just like moving in slowly, carefully. But at the same time, I'm like, why not? Let me get into it mm-hmm. and see what it has to offer. And I called a friend of mine and my friend was like, enjoy the moment. I'm like, are you crazy? Yeah. My son is involved because he was so attached to my son from day one. He always wanted to see him. So I was like, my son is involved. So the more I get into this, yes. it will affect him psychologically. Yeah. So, yeah, I just followed her advice, enjoy the moment, and I got into it, and it's beautiful, yeah. yeah. So after that, it was, uh, we came a back for the dowry. A month later, we went for dowry. Mm-hmm. This is like... Yeah. One, two, three. Yes. 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 Mm. So a month later, so by this time, you've been given what requirements, da 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 da, da. Exactly. Then that happens. So yeah. now the parents now have to come and meet. Yeah. This mm. is the first time they're meeting. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> in the cinema. <laughs> it's not in true. the cinema. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And actually, during dowry, we had a lot of challenge because that's when there was lockdown. Yes. Ah, but so we, were so we postponed it though. by we postponed two weeks. By two weeks, but there was still lockdown. Yeah, there was lockdown. But we had we applied for. He organized with his parents. They were mm-hmm. so determined mm-hmm. to get this girl. So they applied for the permits legally like the right way stamped by Machakos County because we stay um we were staying in Sabaki that's yes. basically Machakos County yeah. so okay. they got the paperwork everything for everyone who is interested to travel mm-hmm. so as much as there was lockdown at that time we we mm. just we cancelled two weeks then, then we were we back on the road yeah wow yeah the wedding uh-huh every girl has a dream you know the way you want it to happen mm-hmm. and how my dress would lo- I want it to look like, where I want it to, you know, take place. Mm-hmm. Did you get your dream wedding? Hmm. I, I'd say this, this, what we call dream wedding, dream engagements, we'll always have all those. Yes. But the interesting part, I think it's best when you don't have a dream per se, so that you enjoy the moment. My wedding was, Absolutely our right. wedding was more than a dream I had. So it was small, it was intimate. Oh. I had the only person that matters in the world at that moment, him by my side. So, yeah, the gown really was beautiful. Way. It was perfect. It was perfect <laughs> me, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> <laughs> you guys have um, a social uh, vlog that you do together. Yeah. Yes. You can tell us a bit more about it before we get to the quick fire questions. Okay. So we, we have a YouTube vlog. And actually, we'll be launching our first vlog today at midday. Yeah, so basically, it's just uh, a day in our lives and what we do. And I'm so sure guys will just enjoy our trip and our journey 
that we've shared together since we met. Yeah, and we also want just encourage people because there's a lot of notion of how marriages should look, relationships should look. Yes. For ours, it was more like a risk. We just yes. got into it, then we just got loyal to each other and trusted each other. We trusted every day as it comes. And one thing we always kept asking, uh, he kept asking me, what are we waiting for? Yeah, we want 20 years. If people are telling us, ah, oh, my sister, for example, was so caring, and she was like, take her some time. I asked her, how long? Because there's no... There's, there's no one no who will ever describe no, enough did. time. Yes. Three years, four years, mm -mm. then what happens? Because mm -hmm. my previous relationship I had dated for three years, but still yeah. he never in committed, you know. Yes. Even despite having a child in the process, yes. there's no commitment. Yes. So there's never the right time. It's how ready are you guys and is there anything? It's It has to be a deliberate choice. Absolutely. So we also want to, to just tap into the future of uh, the youth so that we make them understand marriage is not as bad as it looks like. We see a lot of cheating in marriages and all that. We're not wishing that on anyone, but we're just making them believe that there is a small percentage of, if you decide you want this, what more else will yeah. you be looking for? Oh yeah, so it's just inspiring. What's the name of the vlog so we can look out for it? Nani time gani tuangalie? The Herons, <coughs> today to be at 12.30. 12.30, yeah. yes. Okay. The mm. Herons on socials, we are, on Facebook is The Herons. Uh, Instagram is The African Herons. <laughs> then on Twitter, The African Herons. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I have some quick fire questions. I know I'm the Juana Kamawa to a 50 years, oh but I'm the Juana. Sawa, cool. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Okay. Morning person, not a morning person. Is she a morning person? Morning person. Morning person. Yeah. Him? Morning person. Morning person. Yes. Okay. Mm. I'd rather sing or dance. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> and for him? <laughs> sing. <laughs> um, favorite travel destination for him? Ah, oh, Elementaita. Okay. Yeah. Travel destination? Bungoma. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the spendthrift in the relationship? Oh, him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn it. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> favorite she color. What's her favorite color? It's purple. What's is that true? Yes. And what's his favorite color? Blue. Okay. Cool. Um, who is the social butterfly among the two of you? Huh. Okay. Great stuff. <laughs> Plant or an animal person? Plant. And him? Plant. <laughs> Plant? <laughs> None of the above? None. <laughs> yeah. What's her favorite song currently? Um, well. Do you have one? Yeah, I do. Okay. Does he know? Yes, he does. Okay, cool. Kazi <laughs> Kwako. You have so many favorite songs. Okay. Favorite artist then. Okay. That's my favorite song. Nai boy. Of course, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. And do you know his? Yes. <coughs> yes, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a fan of Nightboy too, anything Nightboy, but also he loves Papa for Lolo. Ah. Uh -huh. I Rumba, rumba, even. I'm, I'm right, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what was the last? What was the last meal you made together? Pancakes? Yeah, pancakes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I've got a few f uh, messages here for you. Let me see if I can just get to them before I let you guys go. Uh, and it's not working. It is not working. Where <laughs> is my SMS? Where are my SMSs? I have gotten it. I am there. I am there now. How many seconds do I have? Ah, ah. Okay. I did my best. Oh, there we go. Cool. Hi, Mikali. Your hair is beautiful. Really, guys, thank you. I'm inspired when the one uh, is meant for you comes, does not, you, don't need, you do not need an ear to know that person. I tap into those blessings for the couple that is in studio. I'm happy to see Faith and Ronnie share their miracle love story. I love them. It's Selena Timber. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank you for, thank you for so sharing much. your story with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to take a very short commercial break on um what is it called on a very blushing beautiful romantic love-filled note we'll be right back <laughs>